I'm making this video because I wanted to share with you uh, a horrific experience I just suffered this week. Uh, apparently, I had dehydrated myself to a point where I was uh, needed to go to the hospital. In fact, I thought I was having a heart attack. And uh, it had been going on for a while, and I thought it was other things that were causing me to feel uh, waking up in the morning uh, with dry mouth uh, during the night, going to the bathroom frequently. I thought it was, you know, old age getting to me. Uh, I had skin rashes. Uh, I thought it was due to stress, what they call hives, because you have stress, you have hives. It never occurred to me that I was mummifying myself with too much salt in my diet. And I'm going to share with you the, uh, the, the horrible error that I made uh, trying to lose weight. I did lose 40 pounds, and, uh, uh, and I'm not against the diet. What I'm against is the mistake I made. And the mistake was not looking about how much salt was in my diet. And I'm going to share with you how I started to hydrate myself, or dehydrate myself, rather, and what the problem was. And I, I start breakfast with bacon and eggs, and then I use this mix called adobo, which is uh, uh, salt, pepper, and various other ingredients. And... I made a, an egg omelet with, uh, with the bacon, uh, coconut oil, uh, the adobo mix, uh, bacon, and uh, a, a slice of Swiss cheese. That was my breakfast, all protein. So I'm following a, a low carbohydrate diet, and I was losing weight. But I noticed that I was starting to have dry mouth. I started having skin rashes that the doctor said was uh, edema. And... Uh, you know, I thought it was stress, what they call hives, and, you know, so I took it for granted that it has dry skin and uh, what was going on. For lunch, I was having every day, what I had told you guys to get was these pork rinds. And also, pork rinds are a great product, 100% uh, carbohydrate-free, no carbohydrates in, in, uh, in this. In fact, th this was uh, recommended in the Zone Diet and, and Dr. Atkins Diet. So I was following it. And also, to go along with it, I was having pepperoni. I was having uh, a quarter of this pepperoni every day with uh, two slices of Swiss cheese and the pork rinds. And that was basically my lunch now for months and months. Yesterday, I woke up. And I didn't feel well. I really felt terrible. And all of a sudden, I started sweating profusely. And I went downstairs to get a cup of coffee, and I just couldn't get through it. And then I went and I went to lay down. I started spinning. And I sweated more. So I said, you better force yourself to get in the shower, try to cool down, and try to get control of your body. I go up there, I'm in the shower, I, 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 was, I was almost out. So I started groaning, trying to force my body to, to, to fight this, whatever was going on, which I came to think I must be having a heart attack. Because heart attacks necessarily don't mean you have chest pain or arm pain. I, I was sweating profusely, and that's one of the telltale signs of heart attack. So my wife heard me groaning, and she thought I was singing at first. She comes upstairs, and I said, we got to go to the hospital. So she tries to dial 911, doesn't know how to do it. She's stressed out. I shower. I get out of the shower. I get dressed. I dry up. And I took three aspirins right away, thinking, you know, I have a heart attack going on here. She can't call the ambulance. I said, look, I don't feel that I'm going to die this minute, but let's get out of here, because by the time the ambulance comes, we'll, we'll be at the hospital. She couldn't drive. She was so stressed. I drove to the hospital. We get on the road. What happens? Uh, the highway, the road to the hospital is totally blocked. I mean, you could see as far as the eye can see, you couldn't go forward. I turned around, went the other way, went around the town, went up the road, around the thing. I get to the hospital. 
I go in and I have the good fortune that it was empty. It was Vassar Hospital in, in Poughkeepsie, New York. Wonderful institution, wonderful service. The minute I walked in, I was rushed right in and they started you know, working on me and everything. And they, they took x-rays of me, the pulse, the, the everything. They put an IV, they went through the whole process. And the doctor said, you know, I think you're dehydrated. And they started giving me more IV and, you know, I started feeling a little better, but I was still nauseous and everything. And then uh, after a couple of hours, they sent me home. Uh, I called a friend of mine that uh, uh, what had happened and he said, you know, the same thing happened to me. Uh, I had arrived, uh, he told me he had arrived in Las Vegas and uh, the heat got to him and he started feeling dizzy and at the airport they gave him Gatorade. So after telling me that, I went and bought some Gatorade. But let me tell you, I was mummifying myself with this diet. The content of salt I'm going to read to you is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Pork rinds, 10% salt. It says here it has 230 milligrams of salt and there's six servings. So that means over a thousand milligrams of salt in this one product. Of course, this is salt. This has uh, 200, uh, 350 milligrams of salt, which is 15%. And uh, there are, uh, let's see how many servings there. Uh, it contains 794 servings in this thing here. The bacon. Bacon contains 11% sodium, 260 milligrams for, uh, it says the serving size, one skillet cooked slice. So one slice is 260. So you have two slices is 520. Would you believe that? So here I am, having bacon. On top of that, I have cheese. On top of that, I put the adobo product all, all together. So I must have been giving myself 1,000 or 1,500 milligrams of salt just for breakfast. Then in the afternoon, I will have the pork rinds, the, uh, the pepperoni, the cheese. And I'm thinking I'm drinking plenty of fluids during the day. But at night, I'm, I'm waking up in the middle of the night, restless sleeping, and I just felt, you know, very dry in the mouth. And I'm thinking it might be the, the vitamins I'm taking and things like that. So it came to be that I was, uh, what I found out is basically mummifying myself by uh, having so much salt intake and... Uh, I almost caused myself to have a heart attack or die, uh, lose my, my consciousness, uh, the electrolytes in my body. Uh, so a word to the wise, all this stuff, you have to read the labels. You want to lose weight? I lost weight, but I could have lost my life. So a cautionary tale to you all, salt can be deadly. We'll see you on the next video. Please post, please share, you know, especially if you're a senior citizen or uh, past your 40s, you have to be aware that salt can be deadly. You know that uh, sailors uh, say water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink because you can't drink salt water. Uh, I just uh, got today a supply of uh, Gatorade and I'm going to be drinking that to slowly get my body back you know i could have damaged my kidneys i could have had a lot of issues that i was not aware of in the effort to lose weight and that's another good point to bring up you know uh health is more important than looks health is more important than weight your health is where you're going to go to die at a very old age so be healthy don't do what i did don't make my mistake. See you on the next video. Please share. Please subscribe. Put the word out.
let people know that there's danger lurking in the salt. Bye-bye.